it's Saturday today. Today we've got this stay local rule imposed in Wales now. Everybody is supposed to roughly stay within five miles of their own home. Well, within a five mile radius, you know. And me and IB have been like, well, does that mean we can't be in a bubble anymore? I've been searching for answers on it, but I finally found it today on a website from the Welsh Government. And it looks like if you're in a support bubble, for example, if there are two adults in a single adult household bubbled, you can keep your bubbles, even if it's more than five miles. It seems that way. I can't find anything that says you can't, but I find lots of stuff that sort of hints at, yes, you can, but we don't want to shout about it too much. I think that's... I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're all right. Which is good, because he's here and he's just in the loo and I'm making him coffee. Today I've really got to put together all the bits and bobs of Izzy's application for this college and get that sent off. It's, it's kind of, um, it's all coming to a head now, as it were. All the things have come in from various uh, places. She's had to have references from different people and I've got to put together all the sort of qualifications that she's done so far. We've got a complication. She's supposed to provide the last two school transcripts, and I didn't even know what that was. But apparently it's the lists of all the grades that they've had. Well, she doesn't have any because she's been home educated for nine years, and then she went to college, and then lockdown happened. So her tutor was dumbfounded at college. She had no idea, really, what to suggest. I said, well, I've suggested grades or predicted grades or grades from what she's submitted so far. I don't think she's come up with anything. But I contacted the college and she said, well, just give a list of all her qualifications to date. They want an idea of how well she could cope with the course, basically. Just doing IB some crumpets for his breakfast. Every time I put a wash on, I forget to put the flipping masks in. Oh my goodness. It's a lot later in the day now. I'm actually dressed now. This is good. It's actually about, to, ooh, what time is it? It's 20 past two now. I just got the kettle on because I'm going to do some pasta. So IB and I have been looking at Izzy's college application stuff. I've been starting to gather together her certificates because we need proof of qualifications to submit that. She hasn't done academic exams a lot, really. So all the... This is a bit of a problem because I think they're looking for, you know, proper academic exam results and we really haven't got a lot to show in the way of that because she just hasn't done them. So anyway, I'm cobbling together what we've got from all the various extra curricular clubs, drama, certificates, swimming, mile badge, you know, that kind of thing dance grades, um, some stuff that she did in college at level one, which is below level uh, of GCSE, so it's key stage three, so she's got those things, but we haven't got a lot, but anyway, I'm just going to try and make a, put it all together in a patchwork and do what I can with that, but anyway, uh, right now, we are going to just, um, Izzy's going to finish off her own bit of the application, it's five and a half thousand words, it's a meaty beast, and she's been kind of doing it in instalments over the last week or two because she's also had to juggle it with college assignments as well. She just needs to just sort of finish the last question and the last question is about 900 words and it's quite a, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's quite in depth. Like even me and IB were trying to get our heads around what they were actually asking. So um, what we're gonna do now is I'm making Isabel what she wants for lunch and she said, could you try and replicate a Tesco's pasta pot as best you can with the ingredients you have? So that's what I'm gonna do. And Ivy and I have found some videos made about the college on YouTube, which look quite, uh, quite motivating, but also they sort of detail the ethos of what the college is about. And although Isabel has researched this in text form online, there's nothing quite like a video to really bring it to life when you can see scenery and faces and people actually doing the thing so we're going to start off by lighting the fire this is one of my home editor techniques whereas before engaging in an activity i do what i can to spark off a bit of interest uh motivation i guess so it's i think it's worth spending the time doing that but we're going to eat lunch at the same time as watching it so we can kind of discuss what we're seeing and just just enjoy the excitement of it really izzy meanwhile while we've been doing this, has been up in her room on her laptop doing a college assignment because she's actually got to, to do over the weekend and they've, there's a deadline looming for those as well, so it's quite a juggling act. That's the pasta gone in. One of the reasons that I tend to take that approach with educating, I know I'm not a home edder anymore, but the light the fire trick, as I would call it, it's the idea of it is to give the person doing the learning an idea 
of what they are aiming for ultimately at the end of it in the long term rather than have them just focus on what's in front of them because sometimes the task can be daunting and they might not feel very motivated to do it if they don't really understand the reason why for their own benefit you know they might think they're just doing it for their teachers or their mum or some other third party you know the tesco's pasta pots actually involve onion um but i don't have any so i've cut up two sticks of celery really small and a courgette and well hoping she'll be satisfied with that alternative i'm avoiding going to shops unnecessarily of course so i wasn't going to just go to the shops just for an onion it's hot it's not vinegary and it doesn't have any onion in it but apart from that it's quite like the pasta pots from tesco Kind of. Okay, it's more like my normal cooking. Well, guess what? Ibi and I have popped out to the park for a walk. We've left Isabel to finish off the last part of her application. And I just couldn't resist filming these beautiful geese grazing. Oh, it's turning his back on me. Well, this is Wales. I'm thinking, what can I actually tell the vlog? I can tell the vlog it's not raining, and that is actually surprising. Oh, I hate this. I want to do my trouser legs up, but look, they're all wet and they're dragging in there. Ugh, they've come unrolled. Yeah, well, that's because you've got two rolls on your left leg and one roll on your right. Yeah, well, that one's all right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They'll have to go in the wash. Look, I can't leave it like that. It looks ridiculous. The one is too far out. Yeah, it's all wet. I don't want to touch it. Do you want to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's sorting my leg out for me. He's, t he's no, yeah, no. he's rolled it all up. You need to wash your hands now. No. <laughs> oh, I felt really, really m well, mothered. Mothered. I did feel mothered by my boyfriend at that point. Mothered. Yeah, he's just had a skid. There, that's his skid marks. <laughs> I'm back from my walk now. As you can see, I'm sitting on my bed. I took my trousers off and put my pyjamas on because they were covered in mud. And look what I found. A last cream egg that was at IB's house in my suitcase that I accidentally forgot about and brought back. So I'm going to have that now. I'm going to watch a vlog on my phone and leave Izzy to it downstairs on my laptop because she's still working on the application. <laughs> it is the evening now. We've had a really funny sort of day. Pretty much for most of it, we've been focused on just getting all the stuff together for the application. And I think I've got everything now, so it's just a case of looking over it all, double checking everything and sending it off. I think it's as good as it's going to get, so it'll be what it'll be. I'm making some tea or dinner, if you prefer to call it that. I'm just cheating, having sausage rolls and some oven chips and a great big salad that I've lovingly prepared. Although it's a bit unvaried, to be honest, because I'm running out of things now. This is the problem with only going shopping once a week doesn't take long to get rid of the perishables. <laughs> mm -mm. This one is simply iceberg lettuce, black olives, green pepper and celery. Literally that's all I had, so that's all we're having. It's quite nice though. And I'm going to hang that out now while this is cooking. It's a quarter past 11 at night now. I've edited everything I've got today and realised this is quite a short vlog, but it was one of those days we were just really focused on what we had to get on with and we had a time limit so sorry about that that's just kind of how that's worked out today but anyway it's all pretty much in hand now we'll just go over it one more time together in the morning just make sure every last thing is perfect because you know it's so easy to miss things isn't it like i don't know writing the word and twice and things like that like <laughs> You need a good proofreader, don't you? Anyway, if you have enjoyed this rather shorter than normal vlog, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to watch more of these vlogs from this channel and you're not subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time we upload. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.